Welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time for us to play some Keyforge words collide against each other in a playthrough. And first of all, I would like to say thank you to Asmodee for providing some decks and so on. And yeah, we're going to play Sword of Sealed because these decks, as you can see, they don't have the normal thingies on them. These came from a starter set. I haven't seen that before, but now they started to put them in just like this. We don't get any box for them. So I don't really, I haven't played these decks. I don't really know how good they are or anything like that. And I think Draco's going to be the first to pick. And I think Draco, of course, he wants the dinosaurs. He, you know, he loves dinosaurs and all that. So I'm going to get this one. And we're going to set the game up and be right back and start playing. Okay, so we open the decks and we shuffle them up. Draco is playing the Hadleberg of Armia. <laughs> and I have the Easley say AI bringer the third okay they're really weird i'm going to put the links to the decks down in the description so you can check them out as well but now let's get going and we uh, you know randomize this up and i'm going to be the first player now you're going to see this sort of from my perspective so you're not going to see what draco has in hand and all that and i'm going to try to you know make it so that you you can just follow along with me so am I happy with this hand? That's the first question. Because when you're the first player, you have a you know free mulligan basically. And you only get to play one card. So is there anything here I would like to play as a starter card? You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start with Igor. I think that, that's that's a good one. So let's pan down here. And we are going to start off. I'm only playing I'm naming logos, playing Igor. And then I get to look at top three cards of my deck and take one of them into hand. Hmm, two shadows cards. I think I'd rather go with the logos next turn as well. So I'm gonna take the cutthroat research and the other ones here are going to be discarded. And that was my turn. Now it is Draco's turn. Okay, so Draco is naming uh, Star Alliance. And he's going to play the Helmsman Spears. Two power, fight, reap, discard any number of cards from your hand. Draw a card for each card discarded this way. Okay. And then he's playing a Psy Officer Queen Can. Two power elusive. After play, he chooses an active house which matches no cards in play. He steals one. So, yeah, that could, that's, a, that's a cool card. And he's going to ready them up. He's going to refill his hand to two more, two more cards. And it is my turn. So if I... I don't have any amber. But if I had... If I would choose not something else than Logos and uh, Star Alliance, then he would steal one right away. But since I don't have any Amber, it doesn't really matter. I was planning to go Logos, right? Yeah, Logos is good now. Okay. So I'm going Logos. I'm playing Cutthroat Research just to get the Amber. And there it is. Then I'm playing the uh, Positron Bolt. Getting an Amber and dealing 3 damage to a flank creature and then 2 and then 1. So in this case, I'll kill both of them, which is nice. Get rid of those before Draco can use them. And then I'm playing Quantum Finger Trap for an Amber, and I can swap the position of two creatures in a battle line. I don't need to do that right now. And then Igor is going to reap. So that brings me up to four Amber, and I am going to draw back up, which means I'll get two more cards. Let's see what I get here. Commander Chan. And trust no one. Oh, this is good to steal. Steal one. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm doing okay. Now let's see what Draco is up to. Okay, Draco is going Saurian. And he's going to play uh, Retro Galim. Play your opponent keys, cost plus three during the next turn. And then he can do the same thing if he reaps. Doesn't matter right now, but... Then he has a Legatus Raptor, four power fight. You may exalt Legatus Raptor if you do ready and use another friendly creature. So, you know, if these guys stay alive... You know, he could really do some uh, amber, you know, increasing key cost. And that was his turn, and he will draw two more cards, and then it is my turn. And now, he doesn't have any amber still, though. Could do Pestering Blow to enrage him, which means that the only thing he could do is fight. Uh, but then again, yeah, because his effect only triggers on Reap. I don't know if I need to do that right now. I think I'll go, I'll go uh, Star Alliance. And I could... It doesn't have any armor, that's the thing. I think I'll put this first officer Freyne out here. Now he would play capture one amber. There's no amber to capture. Then I'll put light of the orcons on him. I get an amber for playing that. And then that means that 
he gets plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade he has. So I'm going to get do a plus one there. And I use these little tokens for armor when they get extra armor. So it's just easier to keep track. And I have the Commander Chan. And I'll put him out here as well. Okay, so that was my turn. I am up to five amber now. And I get to draw three more cards. So let's see what I get. Finch Cloak. Four power. Fight Reap. If you have less amber than your opponent, steal one. Otherwise, each player gains one. That's actually kind of, I mean, in this situation, I wouldn't mind doing that because I don't mind if, you know, if we both get one. Interdimensional Graft is good. Free Ember. And if I play it, uh, I play it and then if he forces a key, I get the remaining Ember from Draco. And then the Medic Ingram. Really good card. Play Fight Reap. Heal three damage from a creature and ward it. I love it. Okay. That's good. So you get to see some wards as well. But now it's Draco's turn. Okay. So Draco is going Saurian. And he is going to start off. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to play this uh, Questor Yarta. Three power elusive. Reap, you may exalt Questor Yarta if you do gain an Amber. He's going to play him over here. Then he's going to use his Legatus Raptor to fight. Let's see. I think he's going to fight into Igor. So you just take one damage because he do, does have one armor. And now he can exalt him if he wants, which he will do. And then he can ready and use another friendly creature. So he's going to uh, bid the quest to Yarta. And then he's going to reap with him, getting an amber. And then he can exalt him. And if you do that, then he will get another amber. So he's building up some amber there. And he's going to reap with this guy, getting an amber. He's up to three now. And now my keys cost are plus three. Not that it matters. I only have five amber anyway. So that was Draco's turn. And he needs to draw, what is it? One card. Okay. Then it is my turn. Wouldn't it be bad to kill one of these guys getting that amber. I have a bunch of shadows cards in hand. I don't really like. I, I like to cycle my hand a lot. That's how I play. I like to just you know get cards out of hand, even if it's not maybe the best cards right now. Just drawing more new cards is good. So I'm going shadows, and I am going to start. If I can just start off putting this finish cloak into play. I'm going to play uh, Trust No One to steal one Amber from Draco. That brings me up to six. I could do Pestering Blow for an Amber. And I can do one damage to a creature and enrage it. And of course I'm going to do that to this guy so that he can't reap next turn. Because if he can reap he can make my key cost plus three. So that's done. And then I'll put in a Vinda over here as well. And that's my turn. And I'm saying check on seven Amber. And I get to draw four cards. Dr. Melee is good. Two power. When you play it, each, you, for each creature your opponent controls in excess of you, not counting himself, archive a card. So that's nice for archiving. Then we have, oh, Quintrina Flux is good as well. Choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Destroy the chosen creatures and each creature with the same power as either of those chosen creatures. That's a lot of creatures in that uh, sentence. But yeah, it's like a board wipe. But it would be really bad for me right now. This is a five though. Like if I choose one of these, I would kill all fours <laughs> and then I choose a three. Yeah, it, it's not great right now, but in some situations it could be really good. And we also get Hawk to destroy an artifact and gaining an Amber. There's no artifacts out now though. But okay, that was my turn. Let's see what Draco will do. Okay, so Draco is going Star Alliance. And sadly he doesn't have any way to stop me from forging because I did mess it up for him with this. Since he's enraged, he can't reap and get that effect. But He's going to go with a Light of the Archons and he's going to put it on this guy at least. So he gets plus one power, plus one armor. And he also gets an Amber for playing that. And then he's going to play Sap, giving him one Amber. You always take the Amber first. Now he can do one damage to a creature for each, for each house represented among creatures in play. At first I misread this. I thought you had to do it to one creature, to a creature. But uh, it's been clarified actually by, by Fast Flight Games. It is, you can spread this out as, as you want. So there's one, two, three houses in play. So he can do three damage. And he's going to spread it out. He's going to do one here, one there, and one there. Okay, not really sure what it's up to, but we'll see later on. And then he has four cards, so he draws two more. And it's my turn, and I'm going to start my turn with Forging. So I'm paying six Amber. I got around that guy, it was nice. Six Amber for my first key. And I'm happy about that. Perfect, and you can choose now as well. You can choose which color you want to uh, forge first. I'm just gonna go with the yellow. I don't think anything affects the yellow right now. 
I think I want to use some of these creatures. So I think I'll go Star Alliance. I don't think I will do... I don't think I will do the Quintrina Flux though. It's not that great of a time. This, well, this guy is a 4 right now because Draco gave him plus 1. So 4, 4, 4, 4. And this is a 5. So that's a 4. So I could... I could do it like this. I could actually... Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think I will use it. Okay, so it's my turn. I am going to let's See this is a four right now. Who do I care about the most? I Think I like this guy because he can steal and I could go shadows next turn So what I'll do is I'll play medic Ingram over here And then I get to heal a creature for three and ward it. So I'm going to ward this guy He's a four, but he's not gonna die then I'm going to put this Explorer over as an, uh, an upgrade on this guy, which makes him a 6, actually, because he has another upgrade on him. And he has the Light of the Orcons, and he now he has Skirmish as well. And then I have the, let's see, so now this guy is going to die. Let's use, let's see, let's use him. I have less Amber, so I could actually do this. I could Reap with him. Getting me one amber. And that means I can use another friendly creature. So I can use this guy to reap. Getting an amber. And because I have three and Draco has four amber, I'll also steal one from him. Because I have less than my opponent. Then I'll... Well, should I play this? Yeah. Yeah, then I guess I could play the Quintrino Flux. And I'm gonna name... I'm gonna name four on my side. Which means all fours are gonna die. And I'm gonna name. Oh, wait. If I name three, then she dies as well. No, I'm just gonna go four, four. Okay. So I'm gonna go four on my side and four on Draco's side. And now all the fours just dies. War token goes away from Finch Cloak. He gets saved because of that. And this guy is also four now because he's plus one. So that's good. So now we're. Um, Sort of getting rid of some of those nasty guys, and I still can use this first officer frame, right? But he is elusive, so there's no point in fighting him, so I'm just gonna reap And when I do a friendly creature captures one, so I'm going to capture one from Draco as well I'll probably probably put it on this guy. There we go So that was my turn pretty good, and I'm up to six amber again So I'm saying check once again, and I'm drawing three cards, so it's not looking that great for Draco We'll see how it goes. Hapsis is good. When you kill someone with Hapsis, he, he, you ward him and you draw a card. And here's Shadows. And another Medic Ingram. I like that. Okay. So that's looking good. Let's see what Draco can do. Okay, so Draco is going this. And uh, he's going to start off with an Exhume. That gets him one Amber. And now he can play a creature from his discard pile. And it's like if he played it from hand. So he's going to play this Ritter Gallim. Making my keys cost plus three during my next turn, so he's stopping my or delaying my key at least. Then sadly, he has two mystery exploits in hand. That's why he put out some damage earlier because he wanted to get a bunch of amber for that. But he's gonna discard these. He doesn't want to sit around wait for an opportunity. He needs to find some other cards. But he's going to play Binding Irons, giving me three chains, and that's uh, also fun because then I get to show off my cool uh, chain trackers. <laughs> Up to three, and we can see down here that's minus one card. So I'm gonna put that on my deck so I don't forget it. And that was good for Draco, just get some you know cards out of his uh, hand, those cards that he's been sitting with. So he's drawing four one more, and it's my turn. And I'm not gonna forge because it costs plus three. So what am I doing instead then? I don't think I don't like shadows, you know, because now I have more. I was planning to forge and then use this guy when Draco had more amber, but now I still have more amber than him. So let's go, let's just go um, Star Alliance. I play Medic Ingram. Should I do that right away? No, actually I should first. First I should, well he's skirmish, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna play her, I am going to ward. I don't need to heal, but I'm going to ward this guy. And then this Medic Ingram is gonna reap, giving me another Ember. And then I can ward probably yeah, I'm one of the medics. And this guy can fight. 
So he is going to fight this this uh, annoying <laughs> Retro Gallim. And that's taking him out. Three damage back. But he is skirmished thanks to that rover. So nothing happens. And now when he fights, a friendly creature captures one. So we're going to capture another one from Draco. I think I put it over there. So that was a fairly good turn. I have seven Amber. I'm readying everything up. And now I have five cards. I'm not going to draw any. I'm just going to lower my chains by one down to two. And I'm going to say check again. And it's Draco's turn. So Draco is going uh, Saurian. And he's going to start off with Odak the Patrician. So five power, play, capture one. And when he has Amber on him, he Draco's Amber cannot be stolen. So that's pretty good for him. He's capturing one there. Then he is going to play this the Calypican Ideal <laughs> upgrade. And when he plays it, he's going to exalt this guy. And then this upgrade gets him. This creature gains. You may spend Amber on this creature as if it were in your pool. So those Amber there is actually Draco. So he can use those, which is nice. And then he is going to reap over here, getting him one amber. But then he's going to exalt this guy, getting him another amber. So he's actually up to six now in check. And he's going to play Imperium, getting him one amber. And he can ward two friendly creatures. So he's warding both of his guys here. And that gets him to seven amber. So he is in check. And yeah, well, if I kill this guy, then I take that amber away. But... But he couldn't really stop me from forging again. No real amber control there now. And so it is my turn. And I'm going to pay my six amber again to forge my second. I think I'll go for the for the blue, just in case he has the red baron. Well, he doesn't have shadows, so it's <laughs> okay. But anyway, so um, I'm up to two keys and to, to zero. But Draco does have a check right now. What can I do about that? If I can kill this guy, that's going to be a bit tricky because for, he has ward. So that is a bit tricky. And this is kind of tricky as well. I can't do the interdimensional, interdimensional graft because Draco has five over there. He's just going to take one from here and, and forge his key. I can't steal from him because this guy says his amber cannot be stolen. I could do Doc. No, Dr. Mill is not going to work now. Hmm. This is a bit tricky because I think I'm just going to race instead. I think I'm just going to race with Draco because I am ahead. So I, I, yeah, I am going to go. I'm going to go the Star Alliance. And let's see, could I kill this guy to get two Amber? He's elusive. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So Medic Ingram fights him. Nothing happens. No, he's actually warded as well. Wait. Yeah, I'll have to fight him three times. Okay, so this this one. This medic Ingram fights him. And nothing happens because it's elusive. After she fights, she can heal and uh, ward someone. She's going to ward herself. Then this medic Ingram fights him. And now the damage goes through, but they both just lose their ward tokens. And after she fights, she can ward someone. So she's going to ward herself again. And then first officer Frain fights him and he has skirmish and now he kills him. I get two amber. So that's pretty good. So basically I could have gotten three amber by just reaping with them, but I got a bunch of wards going and all that. And I got rid of one of Draco's uh, creatures as well. That's always good. So that's my turn and I'm dropping one chain, I'm not drawing any cards, down to one. So Draco, you get a key. Congratulations, five amber here, and you're gonna take one there. It's perfect for Draco to keep one here because now his uh, his amber cannot be stolen, and he's getting he's gonna go with the the yellow key like that, and let's see what he will be doing. So Draco is going Star Alliance, and he's going to start off with the Psy Officer. So this is the one that steals if uh, you you name a house that's not in play. Then he's gonna do forging an alliance, getting an amber. And this says that he can forge a key at plus 7 current cost, so that's 13, reduced by 1 to a maximum of 6 for each house represented among cards in play. So right now we have, what is it, 1, 2, 3, so it would cost him for 10 amber to make a key. Kind of cool, a uh, key cheat, I, don't, I haven't seen this before. So, But he can't pull it off, he just played it for the amber of course. And then he's going to go and play a stealth mode, which means that I cannot play action cards during my next turn. That could be a bit annoying. 
And then he's gonna draw back up three cards and he is done. So my turn and I cannot play action cards. I need to cycle my hand though now because I'm, you know, now I'm starting to, I can't just be stuck here. So no artifacts out to do the hook on. I think I might do logos. I can't play an action card, <laughs> that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'll do logos. So, should I disc, no, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna play two cards in logos. So Dr. Melee is not gonna do anything because I have more creatures than Dracos. So I'm not gonna get to orc have anything. And Haps is coming out and he's good when I can start fighting with him. So I basically just played two cards. Not much happened there, but I'm building up my board. I go down to zero in chains. I remove this and I draw back up to five. So not to six because I got rid of my last. Let's see what I got there. And this is a good one. Taunt and Hazardous into the night until the next in, until the start of your next turn. Non shadows creature cannot be used to fight. So I can stop Draco from fighting if need be. Okay, Draco's turn. Okay, I just realized since I chose Logos, it wasn't in play. Uh, this guy would trigger Draco would have stolen one Amber from me. <laughs> and so I forgot about that. But now it is Draco's turn. He is going to go uh, Saurian. And he's going to start off with fighting. This guy is going to fight into Hapsis. He just want to get him out of here. Because since he, you know, he dies, I don't get to ward him draw a card and all that. He's going to lose his uh, war token for that. Then he is going to play uh, Imperium again. Getting an Amber. Warding two creatures. So, you know, warding these guys. And then he's going to play Chant of Hubris. Getting him an Amber. And now he can move an Amber from a creature to another creature. And remember, Amber on this guy, <laughs> that Draco can use that. So he's going to take this from me, move it over there. And then all of a sudden he's in check with seven. So yeah, Draco's in check. He has, what is it, four. He's going to get two more cards. And it's my turn. So Draco is in check with seven. And it's interesting how, how this upgrade makes it so that interdimensional graft is worthless. Uh, that's that's kind of interesting. So can I stop Draco? I can't let him forge his second key now, can I? I can't steal from him because of that guy. He's really annoying. I want to get him out of there. I could do it, right? I can't stop him and get the... Yeah, I can. Because if I kill him, I get the Amber, right? So then he only has five. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works out. So, um, Star Alliance. I'm going to start with getting this guy out here. He has Taunt. Let's put him over here. And then I am going to, let's see if so I do this in the correct order here. I'm going to fight with Medic Ingram at Oduak. So they both lose their um, watch. And then since she fought, fought <laughs> she can ward someone. So then she can ward this taunt guy, I guess. And then this guy, let's see, he has five. And this is a six. Yeah, yeah. So he fights with Skirmish, killing this guy, getting this Amber. Destroying Draco's plans for Draco. And then when uh, when I fight with him, I capture one as well. So even, you know, friendly creature captures one. Let's put it over there. And then Medic Ingram. Medic Ingram can reap. Getting me an Amber and I can ward someone. Wow, this warding is crazy in this uh, setup. And I think I am going to ward this guy. So that was it for me. <laughs> Happy about that. This is taunts. So we put it a bit higher up there. And I have four amber and I am done. Let's see. I need to draw two more cards. And Inky Gloom. Uh, stopping my opponent from reaping on the next turn. I have a lot of shadows cards in hand now. And fetch drones. Action. Discard the top two cards of your deck. Reach Logos card. Discard this way. A friendly creature captures two. So there's some amber control. Okay. So no key for Draco. Let's see what he will do. So Draco is going this. <laughs> it's not going great for him. He doesn't really find much to do here, but he's gonna play spider uh, Two power skirmish and he gains points on poison when he attacks an enemy flank creature Then he's gonna play imp specter when he's destroyed perch a random card from your opponent's hand. That's kind of nasty one Then he is going to play another binding irons. So he has two of these. So once again, I get three chains So at least that's slowing me down a little bit and then he is going to play draining touch Destroy a creature with no amber on it. And he was planning to do it on this guy, but now I warded him. So <laughs> That's so annoying. Poor Draco. Who is he going to go for then? I, I think he's just going to kill a medic. Just get, get her out of here. So I don't have two medics at least. 
Okay. So that was his turn. Not doing that much, but yeah, he at least he gets to draw four cards now. Maybe he can find something that he can really help him out. So, my turn. And what am I doing? I'm doing shadows, I think. I need to get rid of, yeah, I need to go through these. So first of all, we have, I have four Amber, Draco has four. So that's, I can't really steal with this. If I would fight to reap with this guy now, we both get an Amber. I don't know, maybe I should do it anyway. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I am going to reap with this guy, getting me an Amber for reaping, and then we both get, we both get an Amber. The Draco's up to five, I'm up to six. Then I play Inky Gloom, so Draco cannot reap on his next turn. Playing Hawk just for the Amber. And Umbra out here, protected by the Taunt. And into the Night, so now Draco can't fight uh, with non-Shadows creatures. So Draco can't fight, basically, and he can't reap. So <laughs> that's kind of nasty. I have two cards, so let's lose a chain down to two and draw back up to five. And there's the Babbling Bibliophile, that's kind of cool. And oh, that's Amber Control, or oh, like Key Control, and the Mug, okay. And I'm in check with seven. So Draco, can you stop me? That's the question. Not really sure that Draco can do that. I'm gonna have to go through his hand here and see if there's any way for him to stop me. And actually there is, okay, that's interesting. So Draco is gonna go, remember he can't fight and he can't reap, so, but he can play cards, so he's gonna go Saurian. And he has the Gorgantadon, this is Draco's favorite card in the new set, it's so cool. 16 power, enters play stunned, only deals 4 when fighting. And it says that each Amber that would be stolen is captured by a creature controlled by the active player instead. So he's putting that out there, and then he is playing Tribute. And he comes in stunned, by the way. And Tribute gets him an Amber, and then the most powerful and friendly creature captures 2. So that happens. And then he can exalt that creature to repeat the preceding effect. So he's going to exalt this guy and capture two more. So I'm down to three amber. So he could stop me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Good job, Draco. Now at the end of his turn, he's going to draw two more cards. And it is my turn. Oh, and these guys should be ready, by the way. Forgot that. Um, let's see. What can I do then? I can move an amber from, from that huge guy. But I don't know, I mean, Draco, oh, Draco's in check, by the way, as well. He forgot to say check. Okay, so Draco has six Amber. Yeah, I, but I can't, well, I can't steal. But if I do a steal here, it's going to be a capture instead because of that guy. And same here, when I fight steal one, steal will transform into capture instead. So I could get Draco off a key, that's good at least. If I go shadows. Can I do it if I go logos? No. Store Alliance, I can't capture if I fight, play, fight Reap with this. So that's enough, actually. And I can actually make it more expensive for Dracula Forge as well. I'm going to go uh, Store Alliance. So I'm going to play... I'm going to play Sensor Cheap Garcia. Yeah, so Dracula's Keys cost plus two. Then I'm going to Reap with Medic Ingram. Getting an Amber. And Warding Sensor Chief Garcia. Let's see this. I don't think I'm gonna start trying to kill that guy. He has so much health. I would like, I like to get Spider out of here. So let's fight with Lieutenant Karkar. Uh, he's just gonna lose his ward. Spider dies. And then I could fight with this guy. I could start hitting him actually. Because I'm doing six damage over here. And, I'm, and it's skirmish. So yeah, let's do that. So I'm doing six damage. You know, starting to bring this guy down and he's not doing anything back because I had skirmish so that was my turn and oh well wait a friendly creature captures one because of this as well so I capture one from Draco on here and yeah so Draco is down to five and he, his keys cost eight anyway so and now I will lose a chain annoying with these chains and I get to draw one card it's wild wormhole I'll probably go Logos then next time. Okay. So, Draco, he is going Star Alliance. And he's just going to repair. Getting him an Amber. So it's up to six. Then he is going to play Xeno Training. Haven't seen this before. Getting him an Amber. 
And then for each house represented among friendly creatures, a friendly creature captures one. He has three different houses. So he's going to capture three and he's going to put them all over here. <laughs> so that's a lot of amber there. But yeah, he's, he's kind of, you know, delaying me at least. Then he is going to play Tactical Officer Moon. Play, you may rearrange the creatures in a player's battle line. So he can rearrange my stuff. Let's see, how would you do that? He wants to taunt guy out on the, fl out on the flank there. And he can rearrange everything, right? Yeah, the creatures, wow. So the taunt guy is just gonna protect Dr. Millie. <laughs> That's pretty good. And otherwise, I don't think it matters that much. I don't think he has anything that affects this. He's just basically removing the taunt from protecting Umbra and so on. So that's pretty good. And then he's going to play Com Officer Kirby. And when you play him, you may play a non-store alliance artifact upgrade or action card this turn. So well, let's see, does he have anything like that? No, he doesn't. He Sadly, he only has creatures in hand, so he can't really do anything with that. But he's up to check with 7 Amber. So he's happy about that. And then it is, uh, let's see, what is three? So he's going to draw three more cards. And Draco is actually through his deck almost. Uh, because, you know, he's drawing faster since I have the chain and all that. So my turn, what am I, what am I going for? Can I stop Draco? I need to stop him. Or I can just, uh, now I can do a Graft. But he only has seven. I'm not just going to get one plus one. I can't capture, I can't steal because of that guy. But I can capture basically with this one. I can, and, and with the Umbra. So I can capture two. That's enough. Yeah, so let's do the shadows. I'm going to start with Mug, getting me an Amber. Move an Amber from a creature to a pool, deal two damage. I'm going to take one Amber over here and deal two damage to that creature. So he's up to eight damage. Halfway there. And then Finch Cloak is going to Reap, getting me an Amber. And that means I cannot steal, but I will capture this. What does it say? Does it have to be the same guy? Capture by a creature controlled by the... Oh, no, I, I can choose a creature. So I'm going to... I'm going to put it on Medic Ingram, maybe. I could, of course, go... I could have gone the uh, Star Alliance and just reaped with her and made it plus two on his keys, but it's better to capture if I can. So Umbra is going to fight with Skirmish. And he's just gonna fight this big guy. So two more damage there. And I get to, normally I get to steal one, but instead I get to capture one. I'm gonna put it on Dr. Millie. And I think that's it, right? Yeah. So I stopped Draco and uh, I'm up to four Amber myself. And I have four cards, so I get rid of my chains and I get to draw one. And that's Nurse Soto, that's pretty good. Deploy and it heals three damage from each of its neighbors. So but I'm gonna go Logos probably next turn. Now Draco's turn. So Draco is going this. I think he'll start off with this guy here and just smash him. So he's gonna trade with Umbra. So he kills Umbra there. And when this guy is destroyed, he I get I have to purchase a random card from my hand. That's, that's kinda nasty. So let's draw one here randomly, and it is fetch drones. Okay, that's gone. Putting it under my Orcon card. And then, let's see, then Draco is going to start off with, this is pretty cool, haven't seen this guy either before, he's a rare, Lord Invidious, five power elusive. While he is in the center of the battle line, it gains reap, take control of an enemy flank creature and exhaust it. While under your control, it belongs to house this. So Draco can start taking over my creatures, but he has to get this guy in the center of the battle line, and it's not gonna be that easy right now, because he already has a bunch of creatures here. He's gonna play it out there. Then he's going to play Nefru next to it. Each time a creature is destroyed, it owner, its owner gains an Amber. So Nefru is really tricky. It's really hard. I don't really know when you're supposed to play him well, but Draco is trying to get this guy in the center. So finally, he's going to play Infernus. This is a nasty card from the new set here. For power, play, perch up to two cards from a discard pile. Your opponent loses amber equal to the total amber bonus of the perch cards. Really nasty guy. So Draco is going to go into my discard pile and perching even more. So what would he perch? I mean, he's looking for stuff that has amber on it, really. Because that would make me lose amber as well. Or maybe if I have something that is really nasty for him. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think he, I don't think he likes this one. I'm about to get through my deck, so uh, he doesn't like mugs. So he's gonna get rid of those two, perching them. And since they have amber pips, I'm going to lose two amber. And those are gone. And that was it for him. And he's gonna have to work a little bit to get this guy in the middle, basically. And that is three cards. So now Draco only has two, so he has to shuffle and draw back up. Okay, so my turn. At least Draco is not in check. He has five amber over there. So I only have four cards. So I was plan. Yeah, I'm going to go with logos. Yeah, it makes sense. So first of all, I see. It's always the question of should you start or not. With yeah, I'll, I'm going to start with Wild Wormhole, getting me one amber. And I play the top card of my deck, and it is Dusk Runner. Oh, this creature gains Reap Steel 1. Yeah, it was good that I did at first, because <laughs> I'm going to put it on this guy. And then he's going to Reap, getting me an Amber. And normally I would steal one, but I can't because of that huge guy, so I'm just going to capture one instead. Let's just spread these out here. Then I have the Babbling Bibliophile. I want to put him next over here uh, with that Taunt guy, so he's protected because he's really weak. And then I'll play Interdimensional Graph just to get the Amber. Draco is not going to fortune his next turn. but So I have 5 Amber and I'm ending my turn here. I just need one more key, so we're getting close. I only have one card and now I don't have any chains. So now I get to draw 4 and then I need to shuffle. And then I will draw one more. And yeah, I think... I think so far I think I like Draco's deck more in some ways. I mean, I'm doing better these decks against each other, but... Draco has some fun cards and, you know, perching and all that. Interesting cards. And that guy is kind of cool if you can get them in the center of the battle line. So here's my new hand. Oh, I have the Neutron Shark. Okay, you destroy an enemy creature artifact and a friendly creature artifact. And then I discard the top card. If it's not Logos, I can do it again. So it's a good way to wipe the board, basically. And the Wild Wormhole is back. And what is this? This is new for me as well. Book of IEQ. It's an artifact. Action. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a non-star alliance card, its house becomes your active house. Otherwise, end your turn. That is crazy. Wow, so you play star alliance. And that when you're done with your star alliance things out here, you do this action. And if you get a card like a shadows card, then you can start using shadows. <laughs> That's just crazy. I didn't know that this existed. That is so cool. That is really cool. This is rare as well. Wow. So this is a totally new uh, thing in Worlds Collide that you can switch house in the middle of your turn. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so it is Draco's turn. So Draco is going this. Um, he's kind of he only he's gonna just gonna play one card, the Eater Rom, reap destroy a creature of the house with the most creatures in play. He's gonna play it over here, of course. Try to you know make it so that his his cool guy here ends up in the middle at some point. Right now there's three there and there's four there, so it's not gonna happen yet. Then um, he doesn't really want to fight because I have so much, much wards on my, my creatures. I don't think he wants to fight. And if he fights here, then he's going to you know, have even less creatures on this side. So he's going to do three reaps, just you know, getting up to check. That takes him up to seven amber. And he reaps with all of these and he's done. So we're just going to do that quick. And he only played one card, so he's going to draw one and it's my turn. So let's see, I have five amber. I, I think I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy because that will get me so much amber. Uh, so that could be a good thing, right? I wanna do, I wanna do this one though, <laughs> just because it's so cool. But it looks good anyway, because I, I can do, let's see, he has 10 damage on him. So I need to do six more. I mean, I could do the neutron shark and get rid of him, but I'm just gonna go Star Alliance. And I am going to, let's see, I don't think this matters much. I think this guy can just fight him because he has skirmish, he's doing six damage, taking this huge guy out. Now getting all this amber. Now he all of a sudden this guy's in the middle, but it doesn't matter because Drek, you know, I have so many amber now. I don't think Draco's gonna get much chance to do anything with that. And the Gargantadon is gone. I actually smashed it. And then I'm gonna play this artifact. Not that I think I will be able to use it, but it's just cool. And I could do Let's see, is there anything else I want to fight? I don't need to fight, I have so much amber as well. What would I be fighting? Oh, actually Draco lost the guy, so he gets an amber for that because of this Nefru. Wow, I should have killed Nefru first then. 
It doesn't matter. He can get to his second key. I don't think he can stop me anyway. I'm gambling a bit here, but I'm just going to play these. Commander Chan, Hellsman Spears, and Nursoto out here. So I have quite a board now. I think I will I will thin his board out a little bit, just to be safe. I'm going to fight into this guy. She loses the ward, but she survives, so she can ward herself again. Um, because that guy makes it so that Draco can play cards out of house. The lieutenant over here... I think he... Oh, uh, Draco lost a guy. Should get another Amber. Wow. Maybe I should I should have killed Nefru first. Let's just reap with these two. I'm going to reap twice. And that's it. And I don't think I'm going to say check. And I don't think Draco ha has any chance to stop me. Look at all those Ambers. Uh, and Draco is going to force though. I'm going to have to draw back up first. So I got the Pestering Blow. Hapsis. Mug. And Hugger Mugger, okay. Yeah, so Draco's gonna forge. Six Amber, he's pretty happy for that though. He got to forge, that's fun. And then let's see, can he do anything to stop me? I really doubt it. Yeah, it's kind of funny, he has two Oduak. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. And he, he doesn't have any discs in hand. He would just, for fun, he would just like to play. No, but he can pull that off anyway. Yeah, yeah, just for fun, Draco's gonna go this. It's already over, but he's going this. And eat a roam. Let's see. We have three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so eat roam is going to fight. He's gonna just fight in here just so he dies. Draco's gonna get an amber for that. But now this guy is in the middle. So now Draco can reap with him, getting an amber, and he can take control. I guess he'll take control over this, and that becomes this as well. That's that's gonna be tricky to remember, but and then these guys, well, I basically can just reap with those two, getting him up to check. So he has seven amber, so he's close to his third key at least. And then it's my turn, and I'm just you know paying a bunch of amber, forging my third key, and that's it. I'm gonna win here. Sorry, Draco, but you know I think Draco had fun anyway. He looks happy, so yeah. That was a playthrough of Keyforge with the words Collide. And I'm sad that I didn't get to use this. This was so cool. Such a good, cool idea. And But yeah, let's go to some deck reviews uh, later on here. If you haven't seen those already, you can go check them out. You can check out all my Keyforge videos in the playlist if you click those eye up there. And with those deck reviews, you can you know see when I go through decks, I talk about cards and all that. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning, whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.